all need to do is have a feature that allows them to play back a recording of something that I said or something that they said. Because when you go home, you're nervous. Um, I don't know if you guys know about polypharmacy. It's huge, right? We've taken the same medications, things are expired. So during my one-on-one -on -one teaching, which takes a little bit of time, I'm like, listen, don't give me to the patient right now. This is the work that we have to do as nurses. Take a moment, take a beat, ask them what they prefer. The teach back method via video is game changing for me and my patients. And some nurses don't do it because of the time, the time management. We're always going to the next client. Um, you mentioned something about the going on the website and seeing a practitioner, very big. Game changing. Um, I see it more in the city hospitals than on Long Island. The pictures say a thousand words. Even that smile. Can everybody smile right now? Right? It feels so good. I think I have a great smile and that's how I warm the hearts of my patients. Doctors can do the same thing. You know, um, I'm not trying to be that nurse that say shame on doctors, but that white coat syndrome is real. They start to tremble. Take off the jacket. You already have on the ID badge, right? And so um, the smile puts them at ease. Nurses, we go through a whole training on compassion, that touch, everything. You don't even have to say anything, right? Say you understand by doing a gentle nod of the head. So I think that emotional intelligence, that nonverbal, putting on marketing to say, hey, this doctor looks like me. Um, also, give a little bit of background on where they come from. I think that's game changing as well. Um, you talked about the food. The, uh, my dad's a Rastafarian, so I've always grown up on the cabbage and all these things. But I met a doctor that said, holistic doctor. I'm like, that's a doctor for me. Little things that they like to do, it doesn't have to be so corporate. Put a little thing, your favorite quote. These are the things that will engage that client to say, hey, there's a person behind here. And so it will warm their hearts to help them navigate, help them feel comfortable. Um, having someone in the room, I think that allows that doctor to know, hey, there's another ear here. Let me be more professional. I think that's very important to have that advocate. Um, we have been taught in the uh, nursing programs that we speak on a third grade level. When I heard that, I'm like, wow, third grade, but it makes it a little bit more chewable. As you mentioned, I used to work in cardiology and I'm like, Here's tachycardia, and they're like, what does that mean? I'm like, okay, I'm sorry, ma'am. Your heart rate is going beyond that number of 100. So little fine tuning makes a big mark when you talk about using the words that work. Um, these are just things just coming through my mind, but I think there's definitely um, an insecurity when it comes to the one-on-one -on -one care with the patients of not meeting their needs where they're at. We have to do better. I cannot work every day. So like, is Sinclair there? I'm like, well, Sinclair, that's me. I have a day off. Like, they trust me because they know that I'm gonna make sure from soup to nuts, they understand the information that's being delivered. And you get pushback from corporate. So it's like, it's a little bit uncomfortable at times when you wanna do the right thing. Like my brother always says, just do the right thing. And that's how I live my life, so, yeah. Thank <laughs> you.